Should I get PSA testing? What should I know about PSA? Can you break this all down into some simple concepts? A smoke detector helps detect a fire, just as a PSA test helps detect cancer. Like all detectors, an alarm helps alert and initiate investigation. However, smoke is not the only thing that can make the alarm sound. In a similar manner, cancer is not the only thing that raises one's PSA. But PSA testing may help detect a cancer before symptoms appear. Your doctor can send a blood test to help detect prostate cancer. The test is called a PSA test. If this value is abnormal, or the PSA has increased rapidly from the previous value, your doctor may refer you to a urologist. So how can doctors detect prostate cancer early before it spreads? Although one-third of cancers are found on a digital rectal exam, most prostate cancers are detected by a blood test that can measure a unique substance only made by the prostate cells called PSA. There are PSA values that are considered normal for men of different ages, but prostate cancer tends to result in elevated PSA levels above normal values or causes sharp change in value compared to a previous year's value. This is how yearly PSA testing can help detect prostate cancer. PSA is a substance that is made by the prostate gland. PSA leaks into the blood where it can be detected on a blood test. Just as all gasoline cars make exhaust, all prostates make PSA. Different models, different sized engines, and older cars may make more or less exhaust. If you start your car and it makes too much smoke, you will likely recheck the next time you start the car. In a similar manner, if your PSA is elevated, your doctor will likely repeat the PSA. What age should men start having a discussion with their doctor about PSA testing? Men with a family history of prostate cancer should start at 40 years old. Men at high risk for prostate cancer, such as African Americans, should start at 40 years old. Most other men can get a baseline PSA at 50 years old. When a man reaches an age with less than a 10 to 15 year life expectancy and his PSA has been stable, PSA testing is no longer indicated. Although cancer can never be 100% predictable, a man must live more than 10 years to generally benefit from detecting and treating prostate cancer. So, let's break this all down into some simple take-home messages for you to discuss with your doctor. For one, get a PSA and a digital rectal exam yearly. If the PSA makes a sudden jump, recheck this value and see a urologist for an evaluation and discussion. Once you have less than a 10 to 15 year life expectancy and your PSA has been normal or hasn't been rapidly increasing, stop checking PSA for most men. But each man is unique and each man should discuss PSA testing with their doctor. This video does not replace a visit with your doctor, but is meant to help you understand PSA testing so that you can have a more informed discussion with your doctor.